The 4th of July is just around the corner and we have some great ideas for you if you plan on doing some cooking on the 4th of July. Of course, Angie Horkin here from the Beef Council. Good morning. Good morning. Now, what do we have, Angie? You've got some great ideas for a cookout. Yeah, that we do some festive recipes. Yeah, red, Very white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Perfect for the 4th of July. So we got two burger recipes. This burger is called a firecracker beef burger with a cooling lime sauce. So we mix into the ground beef. I just use ground chuck. Uh-huh. 8515 or okay. um, 8020 because um, grilling is a low-fat cooking method, so you're going to sure. lose your juices through the grill. So that is the perfect ground beef to start with. You don't need okay. to splurge and get something really lean, but if you like that, you definitely can. But we added to our ground chuck so just some curry powder and then some Caribbean jerk Ooh, marinade. So it's got a little season. kick to it's it. It's got a little kick to it. So then you can serve it with a cooling lime sauce. So plain yogurt, low-fat mayo, fresh lime juice, and then some lime zest. And then you just top that just lay it on top, and then you can top with watercress, Ooh. which is a little different. So kind of fancy with some different ingredients, but, but delicious. But it's a nice combination with the spicy burger. Yeah. All right. So super easy, too. Perfect for your grill out. And then something maybe kids would enjoy doing. Yeah, this is kind of just a traditional cheeseburger, mm -hmm. but we cut our cheese into stars. So super easy to do, and we just use ground chuck and it, mix anything in with it. Sure. And then um, topped it with some stars, and you can serve it with romaine and tomato or whatever toppings you like, or this is just a simple honey mustard uh, honey Dijon mayo mixture. So real easy really if good. the kids don't want to branch out with exactly, anything. Exactly. Now for someone who want maybe something a little bit healthier or if you yeah. want to serve it cold, mm -hmm. right? Definitely. This And this is a nice big entree salad. So mm -hmm. you can make a huge salad. You could serve the steak cold on top. So if you're going to a cookout okay. um, or like a concerts on the square exactly. or anything like that. Make it up ahead. So we just have a bag of some um, mixed greens. Leafy greens some black beans drained and rinsed and some frozen corn that we unthawed and put in there and then this is a grilled sirloin now the recipe calls for a grilled round steak uh-huh but you would want to marinate that overnight you just put it in a ziploc bag with some salsa so okay but if you're using sirloin salsa. you don't need to marinate it 20 minutes to two hours marinate it for flavor oh okay. because this is a tender steak okay so I, I did still marinate it within the um salsa salsa for about two hours and then we're gonna top this with salsa also. And put that down the front. Ooh, so this looking fabulous. This salad's called red, white, and beef. So very fourth. Of You're July. gonna put the white on, aren't you? Then I'm gonna put the white on. This is just ranch. Okay, so you got a nice little mix. Yeah. The red, white, and, and beef salad, and then you can add a little corn chip to it, right? Yeah, crumble some corn chips, serve that with, and it's a red, white, and beef salad. All some fabulous recipes, and they are all available online, beeftips.com, and we also have them on our website, nbc15.com. Uh, Thank you so much, Angie. Thank you. Happy 4th of July. Me too.